this is nice. Well, here's my philosophy, kids. If you find yourself in a place that's living <laughs> 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or who knows how many years ago, you can just figure out a way to do what you did when you lived then. And one would be the way I... <laughs> Yee! I know how to blend in. What the hell are they doing? You're not supposed to go that way. See, there's an example. You can get away with that shit here. Since there's no crime, and there's some people walking down there. Here's the plan. Free golf. All spring until they say I can't do it in the Moa. But more than likely, just be one of those people and be arrogant enough. It'll be a lot different than <laughs> blending in as a college player and just keeping playing after college for like five years at the, any country club you want in Santa Barbara, which was pretty much what happened. And yeah, I was trespassing, but there was no crime, nobody gave a shit, and we weren't doing anything wrong, we just blended in. We just keep blending in, and we were gonna start blending in as coaches. Take it another level, it didn't matter. But sometimes golf just gets way too expensive. That was our solution to it then. So these people are actually golfing. Anyway, I could tell you the, how we did it, but I'd have to kill you. It's actually super easy. There's country clubs probably all over the place, or if you you can play for free at practice if you're on a team. So yeah, if I had a kid, I'd probably put him up to it. I'd probably say, just figure out a way to be there when the team's there. For one, you know, you can you are basically allowed to play golf for free if you join a team of any sort. Starting in junior high, that's the way it should be anyway. And if they don't let you, just start sneaking on the courses until they let you. But like when I got stopped, it twice we got popped. And yeah, that wasn't that could have been life changing in some ways. But. I just kept going and said, my uncle was in there. I don't know, we gave him some bullshit story. In life. <laughs> I didn't check on my mom's boyfriend's membership. Yeah, my mom's boyfriend, He, we play with him. I mean, we just knew somebody, ultimately. He was a real person, and they don't have bills there. They didn't research it enough. They probably couldn't even track us down if they wanted. So. Yeah. There we go. Whiff. Oh, yeah. Not bad. She goes ahead and pulls it on purpose. <laughs> Keeps it left. Good shot. Nice athletic swing. But I can't just be some pervert neighbor filming. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend in here. Absolutely. And just stroll on and just start playing. So. But then you gotta analyze, you do what the pro shop, stru pro shop structure's like. There's certain times to do it. I could hop on, 
probably any time. Dusk is the perfect time. A couple hours before it gets dark or like an hour before it gets dark and rush in nine holes. And then you get a night golf. If we you can get a night golfing ball. They might be better nowadays than they were then. Just keep going. It's super badass. Doesn't that sound fun? That'd be great. This is a night golf out here. But I don't think the 69, 70 or 60 health is. This guy I golf with is a character. And of course they love me because I can beat them all. Up and down. And then there's these owners. I don't think I've gone right along this many homes before. This is, that's probably dicey. Hmm. More than likely I'd just go that way. But that's a practice green right there for sure. I may have to stash a club. But that guy right there might see me chasing it out right now. They're crazy here. Four. <laughs> oh, sweet, I got that one. <laughs> Get up there. Much better. Get up there. Roll. Hello.
Somebody's got a paintball yard. Marshall would probably boot me out quick. I just sleep on hole 16. 